why. Our teachers looked around for some more books about patterns and we found a really cool one. This one's called Math Around Us, Patterns at the Museum. I haven't been to a museum a lot for a long time and this has some really amazing pictures. I'll hold it up really close for you could see. I like that design. Do you notice the pattern in that? Something that repeats? That's a pattern. Patterns at the Museum by Tracy Stephora. At the museum, let's look around. Patterns are everywhere. And I'm noticing some shapes too. Do you remember what the shape that goes short, long, short, long is called? R -r Rectangle. Rectangles are short, long, short, long. So many rectangles. Look at this one. That looks like a really interesting building. Is this is where the people are walking. Lines can make a pattern. The lines on these stairs makes a pattern. Remember the stairs we looked at before? I see a skinny light shape and then a dark shape. Skinny light shape, dark shape, skinny light shape, dark shape. It just keeps repeating. Shapes can make a pattern too. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, you know the other thing I'm noticing? Look at the reflection through the window onto the floor. The shapes changed in that pattern. The shapes on this armor are making a pattern too. Ooh, I see this shape. I see dot, 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 dot. Some lines are patterns. Colors can make patterns. The colors on this boat make a pattern. You're not, your eye is naturally drawn to patterns. It's just the way that your brain organizes things. So I like looking at patterns. Here, here's some different kinds of patterns. Let's find the pattern that goes from small to large. From small all the way to large. Can you see a pattern in these tiles? And they go from small to large. Another pattern can go from long to short. Long, the next one's a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, all the way to the shortest one. Can you see a pattern in these bones? Mm, look at those rib bones. And they go from long to short. And oh, from long to short that way. That's an interesting creature. A pattern can repeat. So I uh, read a story before about repeating patterns. And this is a shape repeating pattern. You know what this one's called? Sometimes if you count the sides, it'll give you a clue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know that if a pattern has eight sides, then it's called an octagon, like an octopus, because octa means eight. This goes octagon, square, octagon, square, octagon, square, Octagon square repeating pattern all over that floor. Oh, that might be fun to count all of those too. Math is super fun and interesting. So many things you can do with it. Another kind of a pattern can be on the left and on the right. This is down the middle, left and right. Can you see a pattern with these lions? And if you draw that line right down the middle of this page, you'll see a pattern on the left that basically is a mirror of the pattern on the right. 
that means they're symmetrical. When you can draw down the middle and they're the same, it's called symmetrical. Can you see a pattern in these windows? They have lots of interesting details. Mm, wow, those all kind of look the same. Which one do you think fits in this missing question mark shape? Mm, this one has rectangles. This one has rectangles. This one has rectangles. That's kind of tricky. Do you think it's A, B, or C? Oh, so you know what I just noticed? I noticed up here at the top, this shape is not a curved shape. So it's not that one. I don't think it's this one. It's not that one. It's between those other two. Do you see it? Yep, I do too. It's this one. Look at it. It has the same thing up here, and that's different. Your eye notices things that are the same and things that are different. Oh my god, when you go to some place like the museum, how many shapes can you see? And this is just a glossary of the things that we saw. The armor was a metal covering that protects the body in battle. That was this interesting design right there with the dots. Bones are a part of the body that forms your skeleton. I think that might be a dinosaur. And then the tile is what's on the floor. Right there. That was just a really interesting book about patterns at the museum. Remember, you can make a pattern um, anywhere. Your eye is attracted to patterns. I see some patterns on my shirt. What kind of patterns can you notice? Make sure you're doing lots of talking about what you notice, how they're alike, how they're different, because that's how your brain likes to organize things. Hope you have fun with your math. Bye.